Hello everyone, Daniel is here and in this tutorial we are going to continue with the installation process by downloading and installing the Glassfish Java EE server. Glassfish is a popular Java EE server that we will use to deploy our applications on that server. Okay. And in the future, I may, I'm not sure, but I may make a tutorial how to deploy our applications on the JBoss, JBoss application server. Now the code doesn't change. The Java code stays exactly the same whether you deploy on Glassfish or on JBoss. But I may make a tutorial on how to install and configure JBoss. The tutorial, I haven't done it yet, but I may make the JBoss tutorial in the future, JBoss installation and configuration tutorial. But in the meantime, let's download and install and configure Glassfish. But again, by the, like I mentioned, this is an important point that regardless of whether you use Glassfish or JBoss, the Java code does not change. The same Java application can be deployed on a Glassfish server or on a JBoss server, or on any other Java EE compatible server. So let's, like I said, like let's search in Google, like I searched here for Glassfish, go to the website, then we can click on download, and download the Glassfish 4.1, the Java E full platform, Java E 7 full platform. There we go. It's just a zip file, so we can download it. Okay, it's uh, here is that zip file. So I'm going to uh, wait for it to download. After downloading, we can, and this is the same for a PC and for a Mac. Here is the result. I'm going to just all, all we need to do is to extract the zip file. So I'm going to click on here, click here. Uh, let's actually use the extract tool. I have a seven zip installed on my computer, so I can use seven zip to extract to extract the Glassfish uh, the Glassfish folder from the zip file, or I could use the Windows extractor extract all. But let's use 7-zip because 7-zip is a little bit faster than the zip archive opener that comes with Windows. So I'm going to extract files and let's say I'm going I'm going to put it on C Gfish 4. Okay. Gfish 4 and I'm going to do OK and it's going to extract. Alright. While this is working and extracting let's move on to actually it's actually going quite fast okay so let's let it extract it's almost finished as we can see very well there we go and that's all you need to do to install glassfish now having that glassfish folder we the next step and this is a very important step as well is to prepare Eclipse for Glassfish. This is very important. So how do we do that? We need to go to help, then click on Eclipse Marketplace. And here you need an internet connection. So there we go. Now in the marketplace, let's search for Glassfish. And let's do go and we'll search for Glassfish. These are all kinds of Eclipse plugins and extensions. And what we want to do is we want to download an Eclipse plugin for Glassfish, a plugin that provides develop developer tools for the Glassfish, Glassfish server. So there we go. You see, there are all kinds of Glassfish tools. They are the same tools, but they are for different versions of Eclipse. 
So this one's are for Eclipse Luna, this one's are for Eclipse Kepler, which is the version before Luna and so on. So the latest version is Eclipse Luna, that's the version we downloaded it. So I already got those uh, those tools, those Glassfish tools for Eclipse already installed. So I have uninstall and update. But you, because you don't have them installed in your Eclipse, you should have an install button like here. So let's click install. And here, just check mark everything, confirm. And after you confirm, well, let's wait. And when those tools will be installed, you will have those Eclipse plugins that will allow us um, to work easily with the Glassfish server. <clears throat> yes, indeed. So they will, allow, they will allow us to work and interact easily with the Glassfish Java EE server. Okay, it's going to it's take a little while. Let's see. Okay, we're doing okay on time. Anyway, so this is going to take a while, I guess, take a little bit longer. But what we need to do is to say yes on all the screens and install them. Now, this for the demonstration purposes, I choose the Glassfish tools for Helios. But you have to choose the Glassfish tools for Luna because this is Eclipse Luna. I just chose Helios because I already had the Luna tools already installed. So I chose something else so I can show you this screen. But for you, just remember to click on the install button next to the Glassfish tools for Luna. Okay, I'm okay. Okay, it looks like it's almost finished. Uh, okay, taking taking a little while, but I just I want to cancel it because I already have these tools installed. So this is a little bit of a conflict here. So. Uh, actually, because I'm installing those tools again, but for a different version, so I want to cancel. But of course, in your case, you're installing the tools for the first time, so of course, you don't want to cancel. You want to click next, next, next. Okay. Yeah, you see, it it it, it told me that there is an error because uh, there is some error. Which which is good because this is uh, not the right tools. Let's let's just click on install more to go back. So I just wanted to show you how to um, how to what what the installation screen looks like. But because you see in my case I have those tools already installed, so I don't have an install button. Just have an uninstall button because my tools are already installed. But just go ahead, Glassfish tools for Luna. Click install, right? And then go through all the screens, just everything by default. Yes, 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 yes. Click yes on everything. Install everything, click agree to everything, and you're, you're good to go. And may, you may have to restart Eclipse. And once you do, um, and once you do, Eclipse will start with the Glassfish tools installed and we'll be able to work with Glassfish. So there are various tabs here for, you see, I have the tools for, for Luna installed. I have, uh, I have the Glassfish tools for Luna installed, which is good. Okay, so this is the one you want to have installed. Okay. Well, thank you for watching this tutorial and we will continue next time by adding a Glassfish server to the Eclipse list of servers. Now it's empty. We will add the Glassfish server here or here uh, for the Eclipse servers. Okay, thank you very much.